Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation. My name is Pauline Seegers and I had the opportunity a couple weeks ago to do an interview with a Belgian expert who has lived and worked in Brazil. Today I will highlight the most important conclusions from my interview and topic reports. First and foremost, I will discuss the huge gap between the rich and the poor in Brazil. Um, secondly, I will talk more in detail about the macho behavior of Brazilians. And lastly, I will go more in depth about how Brazilians think about their future. Let's start with discussing the huge gap between the rich and the poor in Brazil. I learned through my interview on Half Status Insights that Brazil reflects a society that believes hierarchy should be respected and inequalities amongst people are acceptable. These inequalities are clearly visible in the way they live. As you can see in this picture, on one side of the town, you have the close communities where the rich Brazilians and expats live. And on the other hand, you have the flavelas or areas where millions of people live very closely together. <clears throat> Through research, I found out that 13% of Brazilians live in extreme poverty. On the other hand, I learned through my interview that at work, many employees have a close relationship with their bosses. Next up, I will talk in more in detail about the macho behavior of Brazilians. My interviewee mentioned that Brazilian men are very macho. The society is driven by competition and achievement. Bribing officials to reach your goal is a common practice in Brazil. However, Brazil does not score high on the masculinity level. I found out that dominant values in their society are caring for others and quality of life. These feminine qualities the Brazilians display lower the masculinity level. Lastly, I will go more in depth about how Brazilians think about their future. My interviewee found that Brazilians are very innovative and willing to get ahead in life. Many colleagues of him went to evening school after their work. This shows that they are thinking about the future. Brazil has seen an incredible progress over the last decades and has been able to reduce inequality. But it is still listed as one of the most unequal countries on the planet. It is hard to say for the future when you are still struggling to get the basic human necessities. To sum up the most important conclusions from my interview and topic reports, I discussed the huge gap between the rich and the poor in Brazil. Secondly, I talked about the macho behavior of Brazilians. And last but not least, I discussed how Brazilians think about their future. Thank you so much for your attention and I hope you learned something from our presentation. Bye!